The whole point for me of rainy day cooking is that you're going to make something you would never normally have time for. And trifle is really that sort of food, not least because there are so many stages. It's not that any of them are hard. It's just that you've got to be hanging around and you've got to want to linger around the kitchen a bit. And this trifle is a raspberry and lemongrass one. And the first stage in my particular trifle is to make a syrup. And I've done this simply by boiling 600 mils of water with 325 grams of castor sugar and three large stalks of lemongrass. And I've just brought that to the boil, let it bubble away and then let it sit with all the flavors infusing for a while. A wonderful kind of sharp sweet syrup. So I have enough syrup there for many things in this trifle. Oh. The first of which is cooking the raspberries because I want to do a trifle which has fresh fruit, not jam. And I'm going to use some of this syrup and all of these raspberries, about 300 grams, to make a really sort of luscious, fresh raspberry sauce to dunk sponges in, and that will be like the first fruity layer. Okay, so I have here, I don't know, about 150 mils, 200 mils of this syrup. And what happens is that the raspberries kind of explode and melt into the syrup as you bring it up to boil. It doesn't take that long. I mean, it's, you know, of course you could use just jam, but the point here is that you have a really intensely fresh tasting raspberry sauce. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the sort of jam you imagine would be eaten in sandwiches on kind of Enid Blyton picnics. That looks perfect, my gorgeous ruby syrup. Let it cool a bit because although I don't mind being a bit reckless, even I don't want to dip my hands into boiling sugar. And then once this is cool a bit, I can just dunk my sponges in and begin my layering. Now, I'm just using bought trifle sponges. Now, I know a lot of people find that if anything is out of a packet, it's somehow not to be contemplated. I actually think a bought trifle sponge is the best thing in a trifle. Mm, it's rather wonderful the way it soaks up all this red fruity liquid. It's difficult to say how much you'll need. I mean, I've got two boxes worth, you know, about 16 sponges there. Because the whole point about trifle is it's not always helpful to give measurements because what you want to do is see by eye because it's about layers. So really, you know, you just have to think, you stop when you've got the, the layer you want. Right, last one. Very raspberry. -ed. And now the next layer, which will become into this layer as well. Uh -huh. Some vodka. Now the reason I'm using vodka for this is for no other reason than I want nothing to interfere with this beautiful raspberry colour. Up to you how much, it's about three spoonfuls. That'll soak down. And so will a bit of syrup. So if I just... Not too much, you don't want to waterlog it, but what I'm just going to get on with now is the cream for the custard, which I want similarly flavoured. So I've kept these bits of lemongrass and I stick over a pot of single cream, bring it to the boil, let it stand off the heat for I don't know, 20 minutes. Just make the custard and just simply then pour the cool custard over the set fruity sponges and then on top of that some whipped cream and then something which I will finish up what I have here by boiling it down into a wonderful sort of toffee-like lemon syrup and then just drizzle it over. Right, I'm using eight egg yolks, 75 grams of sugar, so whisk this into the egg yolks, pour in my infused cream and whisk it in. Lovely, so pour this in. I want this to be wonderfully rich and thick. Royal custard.
Right, so I've let the trifle chill a bit, so this custard now is nice and firm, which will support this whipped cream. And uh, this, this goes piled on on top. I don't like it whipped too thickly. Just the whole thing is more dreamily voluptuous when it's like this. Look at that. And then, final stage, the lemongrass syrup. Look, I've just reduced it so it's like a toffee. And a bit of drizzling on top. And now, really, all you need to do is find some quiet space and dive in.